Hi viewers, I'd like to start by saying, you know, what a great community we have. And it covers a variety of interests really, not just the precious metals, but, you know, coin collecting, you know, non-precious metals, coin collecting, uh, metal detecting, um, prepping, um, antiques, I suppose, as well. Um, yeah, it, co it covers a lot of other interests and they kind of all interlace. And, uh, you know, there's some great people from all those uh, interests uh, in the community. And uh, this particular package was sent to me by my very good friend, Neil, whose channel is Redbeam58, and he's a metal detectorist. And uh, he wanted to send me a gift. <laughs> so I did, oh yes, that, that is my current mood. Yes, yeah, so I haven't made a video in a while because I've been away for quite a while on vacation. So currently in that mood because I'm back from vacation. Um, so I've just opened it, but I've done no more than that. So let's take a look. Yeah, that's it. There's a note. Merry early Christmas. <laughs> uh, right, let's see. Well, Mr. CCT, I hope this brightens your day up. I found this while cleaning my house out to get ready for a yard sale. Well, I hope you made some good money at the yard sale, Neil. Uh, Firstly, I thought it was you, and I bet you do not have one, I hope. So this is an early Christmas present in June. <laughs> now, I do not have the paperwork for it, and I can't, can't find out much about it. There are a lot of different ones out there, but this one not so much. I think it's a rarer one. I think it was made in 1982, and it's 22 karat gold. Do you know what it is yet? Not a clue, Neil. <laughs> You're going to have to open it and see what it is. Merry Christmas, my awesome friend. P.S. If you have one of these, I'm going to scream and you'll get no chocolate for Christmas this year. <laughs> well, better get on and see what it is then, I suppose, because I've got absolutely no idea. I think he said it was gold. Ah, it's a uh, stamp. What they call a stamp. It's very interesting. Yeah. Does that pop out of there? I'll have a look at that off camera and get back to you. No, I couldn't fathom out how to get it out of there. I think it's actually sealed um, under the plastic. But anyway, there it is. Season's Greetings, USA. Um, the light, I'm losing my light a bit now, but it is gold. As you, well, there you go. You can see the gold colour now. Um, anyway, because I've been away so long, I couldn't exactly remember what I bought before I went away <laughs> on vacation. Um, this is one of them, which is an Austrian Thaler, which I know most of you that have been following my channel will know that I pick these up whenever I can. Whether I've got that one up the right way, probably not, knowing me. No, I haven't. And... Maria Teresa. Uh, they're 0.833 silver. I nearly said gold then because I've been looking at that gold stamp. A <laughs> um, few 64 Kennedys. Uh, I always look through these in case there's an accented hair one, but I'm not sure I'd even know if I was looking at one if I've actually found one. But uh, there you go, a few 64. Kennedys, some better than others, and a couple in the cases. Fancy case, which I'll probably just bin trash. My US friends, this one's even got a cert. Look at that certificate of authenticity. Kennedy half dollar for info as well. Um, Anyway, the other thing is not a coin, but um, for those of you that have been following my channel, you know you will know that I um, I don't just pick up coins; I also pick up collectible silver. And um, uh, whether many of you know about British 
hallmarks on silver I don't know but I mean if you'd like me to do a video on that you know let me know in the comments and at some point I'll do a video on it and anyway some of the hallmarks are um, harder to find or you rather you pay more for them and um, so when I spotted this set with all the British hallmarks I thought I'd got to grab that really because uh, there's the London Hallmark, the Birmingham with the Anchor, the Sheffield with the Crown, the Chester, the Edinburgh and Glasgow. So each one of these spoons, obviously in sterling silver, if I get to show up on camera, probably not now because I'm losing my light. So look, has each of those hallmarks on it. There you go, kind of showing up. And um, obviously they have the, the sterling mark and the date mark. Um, I think British silver is probably one of the most comprehensively marked silvers in the world because uh, these, these are the assay offices where the silver is assayed. And, um, and obviously you can, you can date a piece of silver from the date mark. You can tell where it was assayed and they usually have a maker's mark which in this case is um, M MW, which is Mapping and Web, which is one of the um, most well-known sort of modern era um, silversmiths. Anyway, a nice little set of teaspoons for me with all the British hallmarks. Anyway, that's about that for that video. And... Um, hopefully catch up with you again soon with a little destruction video thanks for watching